APA CRS later this year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shamira. Very nice presentation. And it's an honor to invite the next speaker, Dr. Prin from Thailand. He's a world-renowned glaucoma specialist and currently the president of the Asia Pacific Glaucoma Society. And he's been very kind to organize the joint symposium with the All India Ophthalmic Society. So welcome, Prin. We look forward to hearing you. Thank you. Uh, thanks, uh, Professor Tanush Dada, for you know helping organize our Asia Pacific Glaucoma Society to have this joint session with the All Indian Ophthalmology Society. This is really the first time. Uh, my role is to share with you on the role of mix in primary angle crochet disease. I'm come from Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, I have no financial interest uh, to disclose. You have heard enough about surgical intervention for medically uncontrolled PACD, which is primary grocery disease. Uh, we know that tobacco even for a long time ago, that perhaps it's not the best way to attack, uh, to treat anger closure. And, and even from the publication from Cairns, which is so many years ago, that there are numerous operations that can relieve increasing drug pressure in chronic simple and uh, glaucoma. But by creating channel for the subcontinual drainage for aqueous humor for all subjects, subject to high rate, high complication rate. So it has been known, it has been suggested for a long time ago. So no surprise when we look at tobacolectomy or filtering surgery that we uh, often offer in the past is not giving us a very good success in terms of efficacy and safety. That's why the lens extraction that we have heard become so big and even become bigger after this ego study. So it's a very big deal. Either we do gonioacinicolysis or not, or combine the uh, surgery is not. This is the uh, randomized control trial that's all been done in Hong Kong. So they show that if we do combine FACO and tobacco-colectomy filtering surgery, there are more post of complications. So no surprise because it has been even suggested a long time ago. So the next thing is if we can achieve some IOP lowering and able to cut down complication, would that be nice? So that when mixed or minimally invasive glaucoma surgery uh, coming out, it will be nice to look at this, whether these are viable option or not. And we know that there are so many mixed devices. But uh, we know that mix, some of these devices could be at once the angle is widened. If the angle is closed, then most of this mix doesn't work. All the angle surgery doesn't work because the angle will be closed. We have to widen the angle, either remove the lens first. It may be used earlier as it is safer. It could reduce some dependencies of the medication and it could restore the physiologic outflow. However, there's no good evidence to justify using mix as a routine. So we need randomized control trial. We need RCT for mix to see at what stage and what mechanism of PACG that it works. But there's no limitation. There are limits in publication, the lack of long-term, lack of head-to-head -head comparison, lack of cost-effectiveness data, and lack of uh, study standardization. So at the moment, we have incomplete knowledge. What is the real role of mix in PACG? But you know, there, when we look at mix, there are app internal, there are supracoroidal, there are subcontinual, uh, makes that we can create the, mimic the filtering surgery, something like SEM, in focus, they're coming out, not really a mix, but a, you know, a device that can enhance that. Uh, for the ankle surgery, once the ankle is opened up, either by FACO or lens removal, then perhaps we can add something. And, and, and I think we're still waiting for good evidence to show that which case does work, at what stage of ankle closure does work, and which type of angle closure does work. 
the, their fundamental knowledge that this is a work done by Professor Sihota. They've been shown so many years ago that if you look at histology of the topical drainage, even if we able to do gonosinolysis to open up the angle, those tubercular cells may be not function properly. And there are also another new knowledge uh, by Murray Johnston about the pulsatile fold. If we able to open up that angle, can we restore the pulsatile fold of the drainage angle to make it work again? So there's, these are challenge. If we able to open up the angle by gonosis, does the angle mix work? Simply enough, the subconjural drainage is like something like sand. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's cut down some of the complication by, by introducing uh, micro stent to drain the aqueous out to the subconjural space. Intuitively, this is going to work. I think the question is, how long does it work? Because we connect the anterior chamber to subconjunct space. And so the aqueous will drain out if you have enough pressure gradient to drive the aqueous from AC to the subconjunct space. And, and it can be done uh, in a less invasive way. I normally add the subconjunct mitomycin C. I also add the uh, triumph alone at Temri Gumper and Bao to try to combat and keep the drain work. So, so it's, it could be simple, uh, but there are patient factor, there are surgeon factor. I think surgeon can be trained, but patient factor is scar formation. If you don't have good conjunctiva to begin with, then it will all fail like filtering surgery. So we need to take care of the conjunctiva to make the conjunctiva good enough. But if we have a good case, then we can form a blep like that, that could drain the aqueous and it could work. Once we open up the angle and it stay working for long. But if we have an inflammatory conjunctiva, it will definitely fail. Because it's used the same principle as the filtering surgery as tabeclectomy, just make it safer. And perhaps in some of the angle closure that we just need a nominal reduction of IOP, it could be, you know, offer a leeway for the patient to get away from medication or cut down the number of medication. Uh, this is a sample case, a woman 74 years old, who have been diagnosed as chronic angle closure glaucoma. And then I did the LPI in uh, 2013, and then once the angle opened up, I did the SLT. Uh, we have publication that show SLT can work in selected case. And then because OCT show progression, this is her OCT, and after following, you can see uh, there are some losses for the loss of INFL in this inferior location. So we discussed that her pre-op IOP was 18, and she was on preservative-free fixed combination tumoral PG. And the reason to put her on preservative-free is try to cut down the preservative-induced continual information. Uh, so I did offer, even at 74 years old, to prove the concept, offer the uh, same gels. I have no financial interest, again, just to mention that. Uh, it was quite early case, so we put in two sen. The first sen, it was surgeon incapability of implanting the, the sen, but, but this is the same. This is implant the sen, just go quickly. So this is a day two post-op. If you look at the conch, it's not too bad. We got some ballooning and aqueous coming out, and per, her pressure is quite nice. So we drop 18 to four, to, to, to four, but without loss of anterior chamber because the 42 micron lumen limit that. Again, all the mix, the biggest part of mix is safety. How we can enhance safety while maintain some efficacy. And it's like investment. If you invest in a bond or any investment that give you low yield, it's safe. Anything that gives you high yield, it's not so safe. 
So MIC is like that. It is how can we balance the safety and efficacy in patient? So this is her day six after surgery, and the pressure still six. Remember, this is a patient who's been on medication for some time, and this is week six, and we can, with, uh, for somehow, after cut down the medication, her cornea become better, even the visual field become better. And in this case, even after one year, we can have successful control of IOP in a single digit. And the better thing about that is, if you look at the refraction, the refraction doesn't change much. If you look at the K, the K doesn't change much. What tell me is that if we have to offer FAGO with toric IOL or even with a multifocal IOL in a good case that have min minimal damage, this is possible. It's not possible with the filtering surgery because we create a BREP and the BREP change all the K readings and everything so that 